Hello YouTube bro, my name is Nicholas Montez and you watch my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic and welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. I'm so excited to have you all back to the Gator again and in today's video, we're going to be doing a special video talking about my thoughts on stuff. And today, this past Wednesday, they announced, on Valentine's Day, they announced the cast for the Fantastic Four. Um, and this is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a, quite a while because, but they haven't announced the cast yet. So I want to talk about really everything that has been going on behind the film. So we're, we're going to start off with the director and stuff, and then we'll talk about the cast and my thoughts on it. We'll start off with the director. So my thoughts on the director, it's kind of interesting because the director has been changing from men for many months. I mean, for many years. The first director that was signed on to direct this film was John Watts, which if you don't know, he directed the MCU Spider-Man films. And I thought, you know, of course, you know, when No Way Home was great. And then he decided to cut out because he wanted to go some do something with Star Wars. And then um, in D23 of 2022, it announced that Matt Shackman is going to direct Fantastic Four, which I was like, who is this guy? And then he's like, oh, this is the guy that directed episodes of WandaVision. And WandaVision is a great show. And so, yeah, if I would have to choose, um, and so for me, with Matt Shackman, I think he actually does kind of fit this thing. First off, this movie is a, is a film about a, super, a family of superheroes. And in WandaVision, we kind of got to see that in the, there as you have Wanda, Vision, and their kids have superpowers. But also, if you look in the poster that they announced for Valentine's Day, it said it to be set in the 1960s. So, 1963 for that matter. And they have a 1960s episode in WandaVision of a sitcom, of a 1960s sitcom. And so I think that's, that's part of the reason why I'm so excited for my, my excitement for this film has kind of boosted a bit more because it feels like something unique where we'll have another unique time period in the MCU with the 1960s like the 1940s in Captain America First Avenger or the 90s in Captain Marvel. And then we'll also get like another unique family story like Guardians of the Galaxy, like Black Widow, possibly like Black Panther. And then at the same time, having all the, those action, big epic action sequences, but having the stuff that Stan Lee wrote in the comics first, I'm excited for all of that. If I have to pick someone else if Matt Shackman wasn't the director, I probably would have gone with Brad Bird. And I know that seems kind of the most obvious one because he technically already directed two great Fantastic Four films that are just called The Incredibles. But that's really my thoughts on it, so... Now let's, move, let's talk about the, the cast that was announced. So the first cast we got is Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I really see him as Mr. Fantastic. Now to be clear, I like Pedro Pascal. I saw him in a couple episodes of The Mandalorian. I hear he's doing great in The Last of Us. I seen him in Wonder Woman 1984. I hear he is doing a great job in many movies. However, I'm not sure if I see him as Mr. Fantastic. Um, now, there is a thing that he put on the internet saying how he remembers his lines. I guess that makes it a little bit more interesting to see him play it, but I don't know. But other than that, I don't really, I don't know if I really see him. I, I just gotta maybe like see a test screen or whatever. I, and I probably need to see more of his roles to understand this pick. Um, but if, if I have to pick someone else, I actually would have gone with John Krasinski. I understand when he what played Mr. Fantastic in Doctor Strange 2, he was only playing it because the fans wanted to see it. But me, for me, I really loved, I really liked the way he acts. Like, me personally, I saw A Quiet Place, and he's a great father. He's a great actor in that film, especially since he's playing in a thriller great great actor so i would have gone with john krasinski but unfortunately did not get that next up we have um sue storm being played by vanessa kirby if you don't know she was in um the two last two mission impossible films 
She was also in Hobbs and Shaw, and she was also in well, one of my favorite movies from last year, to The Sun. While she is a great actress, and she's also very pretty, I don't know if I would say, I, I don't know if I really see her as Sue Storm. That's gonna be the thing, I don't really agree with most of the casting decisions they decided for this film. Um, and especially casting someone like Sue Storm, played by Vanessa Kirby, Vanessa Kirby does not seem like that kind of person. I've never really seen her do good dramatic roles. All the characters that she really plays that I've seen her play just feel like they're just there. Like, they're fun characters. They're not meant to be playing great in the story. They're fun characters in the story, but they're not amazing parts. They're not important parts, if, is what I'm trying to say. So, I think this is a weird choice. If I would have to pick someone else, I actually would have gone with Emily Blunt as Sue Storm. And the big reason for that is because um, if I, I would have my John Krasinski, Mr. Fantastic, with Emily Blunt, you have two people that are married in real life. Plus, they were also a couple. They were also a married couple in A Quiet Place 1 and 2. And they were both great as their parents, as they are parents in real life. So I think it would have worked better in this film to play that out. But we, we're not getting that. But we, we also we all can imagine it in our minds. So yeah. So now this is actually the only casting that I would say is that I agree with. So you got Ben Mouse Backrack, who played the cousin in the two seasons of The Bear, and. And he's playing Ben Grimm the Thing. And if I'm being honest, of all the castings, this is the only casting I agree with because he actually looks like a Ben Grimm. And he also seems like he this is what, what the thing would sound like. And I have all high hopes for this guy. Um, because he, I saw a couple episodes of the, of, the, of the bear. He's pretty great in it. So I'm actually really excited for this guy. Finally, we have Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and he, if you don't know, he was Eddie Munson in Stranger Things Season 4, and me personally, I would say I liked this one, I get, if, if he didn't play Joseph Quinn, if he didn't play Eddie Munson and was this crazy-ass lunatic, I don't know. If I would have to pick someone else to play Human Torch, I probably would have gone with, like, Zac Efron. More of the high school musical version, though, and then maybe, or maybe Glenn Powell, because he seems a little bit young to do that kind of role. I don't know, but that's really my thoughts on the Fantastic Four cast. Uh, let me know, what are your thoughts on the cast? Do you like it? Um, are you excited? And are you excited for the, are you excited for the movie more? And what, what were your dream cast for the Fantastic Four cast? So yeah, that's my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like, comment, and subscribe. All my social media stuff is in the bounce section down below or whatever. I don't even know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.